Hi, I'm Steve Casely from CBT Nuggets, and this micro nugget is focused on what is a Scrum Sprint. In Scrum, all development, all work is done in something called a sprint. A sprint is, in the most simplistic form, the Scrum development cycle. At the end of each Scrum Sprint, we have production ready code, and that's the key focus of what a sprint is all about is picking up a story. A story is a piece of work that we do within the sprint. A story is the business functionality that the business has requested us to do. We pick up the story and we do everything. If there's analysis needed, we do the analysis. If there's design, we do the design. We certainly do the development, we do the testing, we do the documentation, we do the everything required to complete 100% of that story within a Scrum development cycle and at the end we want the code to be production ready. Nothing is put on the shelf. There's no work in process at the end of a sprint. A sprint is complete and a sprint is short. You pick a period of time that you believe is appropriate for your project, for your team, for your business and you stick to it. So when I say it's two to four weeks, that's the expected duration within the industry. In your organization, you say, I am running two week sprints. And then every sprint takes two weeks. In the sprint, every story goes through the complete life cycle and the story is production ready. Or your organization says, I want a little more functionality delivered in a sprint. My team is the da 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 da. I'm going to pick a four week. Pick the duration and stick to it. And deliver to the terms of that duration. Sprints are fixed scope. We say we're going to complete five stories in a sprint. Each story goes through the complete life cycle. Each story is production ready and each story is completed in the four weeks or each of the five stories is completed in the four weeks. Therefore, the expectation is these stories are very specific and refined. Very modular departmentalization within Scrum Sprint Development and the scope is fixed. We don't change the stories during the duration of a sprint. One of the things you may have heard about Scrum is it's agile, it's nimble, it's flexible, it's just in time. All of the above is true within the planning for a sprint. But once we pick the stories that are going to be delivered in a sprint, we stick to it and we deliver those five stories unless there's an extremely compelling reason why those five stories can't be completed and then we negotiate with the product owner to change it, but that should be the rarity, that should be the exception. In general, we pick five stories, we complete them, we're production ready, and the sprint is done. And in order to help us ensure that we get all of the stories completed in a sprint and only the five stories completed in the sprint, there are some rituals, there are some processes that Scrum defines that we need to follow in each sprint. A sprint starts off with a sprint planning session. Two hours, generally speaking, for a two-week sprint. Four hours for a four-week sprint. And that's where we select and validate the stories. Based on our team's capacity, and that's a term we call velocity, based on the team's capacity to complete work and the size of these stories, we believe five stories can be completed in this four week sprint. The team validates that and then we do the complete development cycle. The core work in sprint obviously is done in the development cycle, but to help keep us on track, we do a daily scrum. This is our 15 minute stand up status. What did I complete since the last daily scrum the last day what am I planning to do for the next day and what are the blockers what are the issues what are the impediments to success and we move on we do a complete development cycle 
five days one week, five days two weeks, five days three weeks, five days four weeks, and our five stories are complete. At the end of the sprint, we do a sprint review where we present to the product owner and we get acceptance. Very brief, again, two to four hours, two hours for two week, four hours for a four week. Product owner says, done good, this is perfect. And then we do a sprint retrospective, again, very short. I'm gonna say in general, just two hours, irregardless of the length of the sprint. And this is focused on process improvement. And that's it. That's a scrum sprint. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you very much for viewing.